Okay, here we have 60 minus 10 times 2 plus 4, which is the correct answer. There are three options, option A, 104, B, 300 and C, 44. If you think you know the answer, go ahead and drop it in the comments because I'm going to solve this problem right now. All right, let's take a look at the expression again. 60 minus 10 times 2 plus 4. Now let's say someone decides to just go from left to right, doing subtraction first. So they might say 60 minus 10 is 50. Then 50 times 2 is 100. And finally, 100 plus 4 gives 104. So they would end up with an answer of 104. Now someone else might approach it a little differently. They might start with 60 minus 10, which gives 50. Then add 2 and 4 to get 6. And finally multiply 50 by 6 and that gives 300. Now they would get a total different answer, 300. So just like before we have taken the exact same expression but by solving it in two different ways, we got two completely different answers, 104 and 300. And that's not okay in math. In mathematics, every expression like this should have only one correct answer. And that's why we have something called the order of operations. It tells us the exact steps to follow so we all end up with the same answer every time. So let's go over a quick refresher. The first step in the order of operations is parenthesis. Next is exponents. If you don't know what those are, don't worry about it for now. Then comes multiplication and division, followed by addition and subtraction. And to help you remember this order, think of the word PEMDAS. P parenthesis, E exponents, M multiplication, D division, a addition and a subtraction. Now let's apply PEMDAS to solve this expression correctly, starting with parenthesis. We don't have any. Next, exponents. None here either. Now comes multiplication and division from left to right. We see 10 times 2, so let's do that first. 10 times 2 is 20. Now the expression becomes 60 minus 20 plus 4. Next, we move on to addition and subtraction, again from left to right. 60 minus 20 is 40. Then 40 plus 4 equals 44. So our final answer is 44, which means option C is the correct answer. I hope this helped you better understand the order of operations. In my next video, we'll take things a step further with examples that include parentheses and maybe even some exponents. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.